What is up guys and welcome back. Were well, you gonna come see me or what? You gonna be a bunch of lazy bums? For those of you who think Gummy has calmed down and quieted down. Actually, I agree with you. I think she has as well. Oh, good, you knocked my Wilbur over. Well, that's what laziness gets you. Should have taken it and dumped it. Now I get to load it twice to dump it once. Hi, Gummy. So, I wanna get with you guys. It's Sunday afternoon. Uh, just chilling, really. I know I'm probably interrupting your Super Bowl if you choose to watch me now. I don't watch football, so I won't be watching. Thought we'd come over and look at the heifers. Since they're all just lazing about eating some food. Where's the baby? Okay. Whew, man, I have a freaking panic attack. No reason to, honestly. They've been just chilling out just fine, hanging out together. He's eating a lot more hay now. I see him eating a lot more hay. I'm not going to get too close to spit. As you guys can see, he's eating a little bit there. <sighs> I made the mistake of... So I swept this morning. What I did is I made the mistake of feeling bad and knocking some hay down off of the top here. The way we've been putting this bale in here was it round side down instead of standing it up like we used to. Once they eat the sides off of it, I can go in here now and just pull off sheets like that. Throw it down for them to eat. Makes it easy on me, makes it easy on me, makes it easy on me. That's about it. <laughs> but what I did was I started feeling bad. I'm like, oh, you guys are getting low down here. I don't want to force you to eat this peasant hay. So I threw a bunch of hay off the top and you see where it went. Scattered on the floor. Mr. Ferdinand, would you like to come say hello? You have a fan club. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, come here. You come to me, I'm sorry. That you are just beautiful. You are beautiful as well, Miss Sprinkles. You are beautiful as well. Why are you doing the crazy eyes? You do you. <laughs> uh, you're such a goober. But Ferdy's doing very well. Mom is doing very well. What, baby? Do you want to be on camera? Hi. Can you say hello, oh. Sprinkles? <gasps> Don't be rude to Ferdy. Mom wants to be on camera too. Yep, so. They are both doing exception <laughs> exceptional. Sorry, guys, when I shoot like this, I'm shooting live, so I don't edit anything. So if I say something goofy or if I can't get a word out, you get to hear it. But they are doing exceptionally well, very well blended into the herd. Everybody's kind of established their hierarchy. Gummy has a girlfriend. She just doesn't know it. He usually spends the day just chasing her about. She's going to bite him. Yep. Um, Sparkle, who we kind of gloss over a little bit because we got her and then we went right into getting Frosty. Where is Sparkle? Oh, she's in the corner back there. Always taking the high ground, that one. Hi. <laughs> Tracy, if you're watching this, that, oh man, that, she is a stubborn mule. Doesn't want to go in the stall unless she wants to. Doesn't want to come out of the stall unless she, she's just stubborn. But very nice. A little flighty sometimes for no reason, apparently. But I wanted to bring you guys in, show you the goats, first of all, always, because, I mean, because goats. And let you guys know, Tuesday, I don't know what the date is for Tuesday. What's today? The 12th, so 13th, Tuesday the 14th, Valentine's Day. How about that? Didn't even think about it. If it's Valentine's Day, <laughs> I don't know. I will be doing the Arkfeld winner, the free Olight giveaway. I will be shouting out your name. I have a couple, actually, I actually have three really good people that I'm trying to pick between. One of y'all touched my funny bone. One of y'all touched my 
emotional bone there. You know, guys, I'm like, uh, uh, goats have made me soft. I'm an emotional dude sometimes. And somebody had commented that what I've said a few times, what I've talked about a few times, what I thought I was doing by putting out videos and the actual real life impact that it's had on on some people. Um, never what I intended to do, just wanted to be fun and educational. And then when you get comments like that, it just like, yeah, it's a good thing. I mean, it's it's a good thing. It's hard, it's challenging emotionally, but it's like also, that's really cool. Um, so, that's two of the three. Um, one of them was just a really, really, really cool comment that like vibed with me. The other one made me, <laughs> made me laugh and the other one was emotional. So, I don't know yet. I will probably decide like Tuesday morning before I shoot the video. I got a lot going on Tuesday, but I wanted to do it Tuesday. I wanted to give it a week and give me time to process the comments, make sure I wasn't just doing like a, a snap judgment, a quick pick, a whatever. I really wanted to read the comments. I have not, I've, I've skimmed all the way through the comments. I have not been able to heart and thumbs up and or comment to all the comments because that would just take forever. But I skim through and I read them all and I've read them all. And I'll keep reading them all the way through Tuesday. Uh, I wanted to let you guys know we've done a massive... We're getting ready to do a massive food swap starting Tuesday. So check out Tuesday's video for sure for the Olight winner. I forgot to tell you, here is what I want you to do. Because of the huge scam situation that occurred, which I did not even imagine... I don't, again, I'm going to say, I'm never going to ask you for any personal information, bank accounts, PayPal. I'm, I don't want any of that. It's a free light. I'm going to take your address, put it in a box and ship it to you. It's yours. It's free. It was free to me. I'm, I'm sharing it forward. I don't, <laughs> I don't want any of that information. So don't fall for those scams, guys. Here's what you have to do, though. I'm going to call out your name. Sorry, it's a little bit chilly. I'm going to say so-and-so. You have won the Olight. Go get the email. Email me. That way I don't even have any of your information. I don't have to find you. I don't need to look up anything. I don't need you to send me anything. You contact me. I will say your name. You contact me. And then I will message you back. And I will ask you for your mail-in address. Or if you want, you can give me your mail-in address when you email me. That's how I want to do it. That way it will keep it safe. You guys will feel safe. Nobody will feel like they're getting scammed. The scammers won't be able to play in on that. It will come from me in a video, so-and-so, you have won. I will also put it in the comment. Now, keep in mind that when I put that in the comment, beside Cookie's sweet, adorable little face of the profile picture, it'll say Zion Creek Farm. That's who will be sending you the information from as far as the winner's perspective. Then you go to the email, which is in the community tab. It's not in the community tab, it's in the about tab. And it'll also be in the description of the video. Don't text anybody. I don't want your number, I don't want you to text me. I want you to go to the about tab and or the description of the video, click on that Zion Creek Farm email and send me an email with your information. Hopefully that'll help be safe. I don't, I don't know what else to do. And then Wednesday morning, Hopefully Wednesday morning, I'll just be able to ship you the light and that'll be that. We're all learning, I'm learning. I never thought in a million years just by doing a giveaway that the scammers would come out of the woodwork and, and try to rip you guys off. So that way I'm not asking you for anything. You know if anybody's asking you to contact them that it's fake. It's just you contacting me via the Zion Creek Farm email, okay? So if anybody asks you to contact them to get your information, fake. You hear your name, you email me. I know, I've gone on and on and on about it. Okay, that's it. Simple, easy peasy. I'll talk about it again on Tuesday's video. Tuesday. We are changing up our food program. We're still going with the same hay because Lincoln makes amazing, amazing hay. It's amazing. It's got great alfalfa in it. Right now, we're in a little bit of an off 
he had a struggle. Uh, the spring around here was so, so incredibly wet that he struggled to wrap his hay in a manner that basically was viable, that wasn't going to mold. So right now, you guys, if you remember that we had that hay bale in here that started heating up and uh, had the uh, really great potential to catch on fire. <sighs> so... Lincoln is an awesome guy, and he's like, I won't give you any more of that, but I can just feed it to my cows. They eat it so fast it doesn't have time to rot or mold or anything. So we're getting his uh, second cut hay, which has some alfalfa in it, but it's not the full full alfalfa like we were getting before. I mean, I can see alfalfa leaves from here. So this is just a little bit of a patchier field that this hay comes from, and so it's a little bit more grass hay and a little less alfalfa, but the alfalfa is spotty. But that's okay. The girls are loving it. Ain't nobody losing any weight around here. Mama. So I will go over it on Tuesday. We're gonna be, basically, a couple of things have happened. We've always had this made, and this is a majority corn. And then it has, like I said, the kombok uh, sheep and goat in it. It has Kalmbach mineral, sheep and goat mineral. It has flaxseed, I think flaxseed oil. I, I would have to double, triple check that. But I think it's flaxseed oil. And oats. And maybe a couple other things. I don't remember. Uh, since we got frosty the last couple of weeks, we had been talking about it anyway because when we stopped feeding the sheep, so basically the Old English Southdown baby doll can get fat on air. So the first time we ever had the shearer come out here, he's like, man, you're, you're feeding me. What are you feeding these girls? Told him, he's like, don't feed them anything. <laughs> hey, grass. So we took them off the feed at that time. And we've never switched our food. We've had that food created because we were feeding it to the sheep as well and it couldn't have copper and we wanted certain things for the goats and for the sheep. So that's why it's all, everything in there is a combination of sheep and goat food via the pellets, via the minerals. So we didn't want to deal with that anymore. We want to get a better food that's specifically for goats since we're not feeding the sheep and we'll just feed that to the girls. We've landed on, you can see, landed on Kambach uh 16 percent pelletized food and then we're gonna add a kombok makes a couple things one of them is a, a, a texture feed which is basically a, if you guys are familiar with um like a sweet licks or a sweet mix like an all stock food kombok makes their own goat food that is a textured food which is essentially a sweet mix so what we're going to do is we're going to buy the good pelletized kombok goat food, which has all their minerals in it, uh, copper, things like that, that they need, selenium, vitamin A, vitamin B. It has all of that in there. And then we're going to supplement a little bit of that with a sweet mix food, and we're just going to mix that ourselves. So that's coming Tuesday. That's kind of the biggie there. So I think that's it. I mean, we ordered enough to get us through the year. You still up there on your throne, little mama? She likes it up there. I don't know. But yeah, so we ordered enough goat food to get us through the year. It's a little... It's it's one of those things you have to decide. It's expensive up front. But we actually saved 10% on the overall cost. So in the long run, we're saving a fortune. It'll be a better quality food than what we're having made. At this point, to be honest... I hate to do it. Uh, we've always used a local mill. We've uh, This is Pappy's Feed Store here. And when we started with goats, we started with Pappy. Um, his name is Craig. But we started at Pappy's just down the road here in Baltimore, Ohio. And he was actually having this mix made. He worked with Travis, which is at the Dresden Mill. And they came up with, you know, they years and years of experience uh, with mills, with animals. I can go in there and talk to them about goats and they know what they're talking about. And that is rare. 
So Craig actually worked with another mill, had them mixing and making the food and then had that food delivered here. And then we were picking up from there. At a certain point, he said, you know, it's just, he's a good guy. And he's like, I, I know I'm going to be losing some money, but please stop coming here. Take yourself, go straight to the Dresden mill, have him make what he's making for you there. It'll save you guys a ton of money. You can't even, like, seriously? So that's what we did. And I hate to stop using a mill. But at this point, the local cost of grains to make our food is more expensive than buying something. that I know Kalmbach is a high-quality food. It's tested. It's proven. And it's going to be a good... Uh, for where we're going, guys, we need something better and then just 50% corn. So it's gonna be a good mix. It's gonna be a good food. And uh, what do you, how, why, how and why? Okay, more about that. Now, what on earth? Come here, back up out of there, come here. Come here. Did that snap? Good night, that snapped. One, two, three, four, five pegs there, snapped in half. Wowzers. They kind of, I don't know what the welding is called, but they put, when they make these cattle panels, they, a little thing comes down and the two pieces touch and it arc welds this piece to this piece. It must have done something to the metal because that snapped. Okay, well, more things to fix. Fun for me. <sighs> I'll just turn it upside down. That'll be it. <laughs> because I already have to... I actually came out here to fix the electric fence that I just fixed last week. Because the windstorm blew my trash can through the fence and ripped one of the cables off. So that is that. That is us. That is today. Enjoy your Super Bowl if you watch football. I don't know. If not... Lights coming out on Tuesday for you guys, whoever's winning, whoever's doing what, gum gums, gummy gum bars. For all you people that said gummy should be bred to caramel latte, look, don't agree with her, just to agree with her. You stand on, you know, stand on, agree with me. <laughs> no, but seriously, I, I really do want to breed her too this guy but um what up bubba uh catamello you boys been mucking it up in there oh you get a little stinky today buddy the sun is cooking you getting that little mm, little kick off there <laughs> uh, that's it that is all i think goodbye i'll go in here and i'll leave you with ferdy if i can find him because you know Clearly better to be left with Ferdinand. Oh, and he's taking a nap with the kitty. Ferdinand. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I thought you were going to take a nap with Bootsy. All right, guys. What? Grr. <laughs> the good news is I've had about 20 people contact me that they want this little guy, so... He's going to go to a good home. Uh, he's only five weeks old, so he won't be leaving here until he's at least 10 weeks old, maybe even 12 weeks old. So you guys still have five to seven weeks of the Ferdinand. So there's a chance that he'll still be here before the other babies are gone. You want to say bye to Mama Frosty? Nope. Got other things to do. All right. That is it. See you guys. Say bye, Bootsy. Don't look angry. She's about to fall asleep. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.